so I'm headed out to Brooklyn Bridge Park to get my run on. I'm going to just, uh, it's a nice day outside. I want to go and get out in the cold and get used to running. I don't have new running shoes yet. I'm running in some Vila shoes that are technically new. They're barely worn, but they don't really fit my feet too well. Um, they fit just the shape of my foot. My arch is not really supported in them. They're super comfy, but I know for running, um, they won't really help. So, taking a quick train. I'm getting off at High Street to go down to the park and run, run, run. I really want to lose this 26 pounds. I want to stay dedicated. And even if it's not the entire 26, I want to know that I'm giving it my all to do as much as I can before my 26th birthday comes and to build the stamina for later. I have no idea where my car is going. So, a couple things I forgot to do before I left the house because I was filming and doing other stuff. I did not charge my headphones, so I had to spend unnecessary money on a charger. But luckily I did have my backup charger with fully charged up so that I can charge it <laughs> while I'm going. So it just needs a few minutes to kind of get enough for a run. And before I thought I couldn't use it while it was charging, but it's charging now and I'm using it. It's fine. Um, also forgot my Metro card, but I did have my ATM card. So I just swiped it to get on the train, which is a huge waste of money because I bought a weekly and it would have been completely free for me to get on the train or at least prepaid. Um, so yeah, remembering and perfecting my uh, preparation game and what I need to put in my bag. Walking through downtown Brooklyn. I got off at High Street so I can get down to the park. Um, and I'll be there in a few minutes, ready to run. It's such a nice day out here. I finally made it to Brooklyn Bridge Park where they even have handy USB chargers from the people who I have my phone with, AT&T, okay? Beautiful. Um, you can take the ferry from over here. It's beautiful views. It's a great place to run. There are events down here like Pilates in the park, um, taught by the fitness guru. Uh, which is seasonal, but comes back every season. There's a ton of places to picnic, and there's reading under the bridge. Um, all kinds of really great stuff. It is gorgeous out here, just so you can see. This is the park. And it goes on for a few piers, so you can actually get a nice little run in, get a walk in, see a lot of different stuff. There are basketball courts, there's a soccer field, everything you need. Uh, fairy, ice cream, food, lemonade. In the summer, there's a pop-up pool. It's pretty cool. I used to come down here a lot more, but I got away from it. There are little itty bitties. Another runner. I think I'm gonna start at the end of this pier. Um, there's a little bit less foot traffic, and it's kind of a good starting point. Today, I'm using my Map My Run app. Um, all you can see, Lady Liberty, from here. I'm going to turn it around so you guys can see. That's the Statue of Liberty right there. Um, so yeah. Yeah, I picked a really good day to run. Luckily, I'm in the mood. I do keep my yoga every Sunday as more of a self-care thing than really a discipline thing. Um, it's just something I dedicate to myself every single Sunday to make sure that I'm taking time out for myself, even though I'm not getting up every morning and doing something at the moment. Um, hopefully tomorrow, I'll start off with that. <laughs> All right, I'm going to turn this off and get started running. And I'll check back with y'all later. It's so beautiful out here. Good morning. Hold on. Oh, there it is. I'm out for a run. I hope this is focused on me. Going down to Brooklyn Bench Park for a run. Working to get this weight off. Um, I'm mostly working to get into a routine. I used to get up and run at like 6 a.m. Right now it is like 9.45ish, almost 10 a.m. Um, I've had a string of days off, so let me turn, I'm like, Ugh. I've had a string of days off, so I've gotten to be getting into a routine of like getting up early. Hopefully I can get back to like a 6 a.m. 
getting up and getting out, maybe running by 7.30ish, maybe 8 at the latest, just because my work schedule allows that more than 10 a.m. I would only be running on my days off if I went this late all the time. Pardon me. So yeah, I'm getting into the routine. I got off at a different part of the stop today and was completely lost. Like, I had to go back into the train station. And mind you, I've been down here a ton of times. I just got off in a different door, I guess you would say, a different outlet at the train station. But also, it's huge. Look at this. I kind of want to take it home and keep it for protection. Either way. Oh, I was about to say, all the lights can't be red. <laughs> you have to choose. You're gonna turn, sweetie? Go ahead and turn. Yeah, I'm not trying to get hit today, I'm busy. I have stuff to do. Thank you. <laughs> Check with the bitch. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna do a sweet little 5K this morning, um, as long as everything keeps up. I roll my ankle quite frequently and have for like years and years. It's just been an issue. I really hope I'm in focus. <laughs> it's been an issue of mine since I was much younger playing sports and stuff. I just frequently roll my ankle specifically my left ankle. I also have an injury in my left knee, my meniscus. Um, but I don't worry too much about it. Uh, I like to think that I take good enough care when going out to ride or exercising and stuff. A lot of times when I start to do weights more and um, my exercise regimen gets a little bit more intense, I notice a little ache in my knee, just some soreness. Um, but yeah, I think it'll be fine. I ran a half marathon with it. I'm sure I'll get through the marathon with it. And it's really beautiful. I came out here yesterday and I was really gonna run in the rain until the wind kicked up and the rain started like splattering in my face kind of a little bit more intensely than I had an anticipated. I wasn't prepared for all of that bullshit. So I took my ass home. Give y'all another view of how beautiful it is today. Gorgeous, right? So last night I was up, I went to do a play reading. I have a friend that's in a playwriting class. She's also an actress, but she's taking a playwriting class right now. And she asked me like on short notice to come and read for her play last night a few days ago and I was like sure I'll do it and I got the opportunity to act uh, it wasn't a, exactly a cold read I had this script like the day before um, to take a look and one of them during the day I got it um, I got a chance to take a look at them I got to read with some great scene partners and act which is always fun and great to do when everyone anyone gives me the opportunity to uh, act I'm always grateful I could be running during this distance, but there's just something about, I don't know, I'm very particular with my running trails. I like to run on paved trails and not so much on pavement and sidewalk and road. Um, if I'm going to run at a park, I will not run to the park. I will only run in the park. It's, I don't know why. I do want to run up this hill though. You see that hill up there? I want to run up there. It is so gorgeous. I know I keep saying this. Oh, another thing, New York Road Runners is actually having an open run tonight, a 5K at this specific park. And I would love to see what their trail is, but they have it every Thursday. So I don't think it's that big of a deal for me to miss it tonight. And I can't because I can't make it tonight because I prioritize to watch the Wiz Live, which is very important. Thank you very much. If you're not watching the Wiz Live tonight, I don't know what you're doing. So yeah, today is December 3rd, <laughs> Thursday. The Reach should be out soon, my favorite podcast. Oh, look at all the runners. It's so beautiful. Is someone shooting something out here? I'm going to put all this shit away and start running. I have to turn on my tracking app. I use Map My Run. Um, I have for years and years and years and yeah it has a lot of history on there it has my half marathon time on there and everything so I continue to use that app it is free you can upgrade to like different features for a paid amount but ain't nobody got time oh my gosh look they have a water bottle filler I wish I brought my water bottle I totally meant to get water because now I need some 
All right, y'all. I'm gonna get some water and get ready. The most adorable set up outside an apartment building. I'm going back down to Brooklyn Bridge Park. I've been down here four times this week. Today is Saturday. Today is Saturday, and I've come down here four times, but I've only been running three because once I came and the wind was far too strong. And the first day I got here, I only ran like a mile and a half, and the other time I ran three miles and then the other time I went back and today I'm going to do a full 5k which is the 3.15 miles um I'm a podcast freak so I'm listening to a podcast right now um it's NPR's Ask Me Another which is like a trivia show and I was just like going through looking I know I'd like something from NPR it can be super boring but so educational so I listen and watch stuff from NPR and Uzo Aduba was on this episode, but I just, I'd never listened to it before, and it's so good. It's so good. I was doing the trivia questions by myself, trying to answer before the contestants answered, and I was just so proud of myself. So very proud of myself. Kick it off. I do not stretch before I run. I stretch after I run, and I like to do, a, like, my warm down is walking back to the train. So, yeah, I kind of got all that set up for me. Last time I was here, there was no running water in the park for whatever reason. And I asked someone that worked there, I was like, is there any water fountains working? I'm about to die. And they're like, oh, no. I'm like, what type of fucking amenities do you have here if you don't have running water? They have all these pretty fountains that you're supposed to be able to fill up your own water bottle with or drink out of the regular fountain. No fucking water. It was ridiculous. Oh, let's look at the Brooklyn Bridge again. I'm not gonna jaywalk. I don't wanna lose my life today. Oh, there it is. My go. Let's walk. 